So, this is actually just a test. Now, I'm running this uh, below 40 milliamps per centimeter squared. I use this shunt that has been pre-calibrated before the run using a steel wire and measuring the current with another multimeter. Anyway, let's just say that I have to divide that number by 2.5 to 1. So yeah, so here we have, this solution has been running for approximately two hours now in a saturated solution of sodium chloride and a little additive to control the pH, which is calcium chloride. Now I wanted to see if graphite can survive pH control because it works well enough with MMO that the pH stays at 7 all throughout the run, but now I wanted to prove that with some visible proof by using graphite. Now the thing with graphite is that if the pH were to get too high, it would start eroding. But it's been two hours and usually by now, the damn thing would have eroded. Now there's also another evidence which proves the pH control. Now, as you can see in the cathode, I'm gonna bring it out, there's gonna be a white precipitate of calcium hydro hydroxide, which is evident by looking at it. Like there's this there's this nice white layer of calcium hydroxide. Huh? As you can see, it's some sort of encrusting over here. Due to the contrast, it's kind of hard to see, but there you go. Now this is actually what's controlling the pH, because the calcium chloride is gonna produce calcium hydroxide on the cathode, which is insoluble in the solution, thus the pH doesn't go any higher or any lower than seven. And that is one way to preserve your electrodes. Whenever you're doing a chloride cell, you have to add a bit of calcium chloride, which will prevent the degradation of your graphite anode, which over here, literally, the solution ain't black. So if the solution ain't black, it means it's for working. So anyway, now you guys don't have to worry about painstakingly adding hydrochloric acid. Instead, you can just add a bit of calcium chloride. And when you see the signs of uh, the... Uh, black starting to come out of your anode that tells you you have to add more calcium chloride to prevent the degradation of your electrode. <gasps> okay, so anyway, after a few days, this should be nearly pure chlorate because the moment it does start degrading, even if calcium chloride is added, it means that the chloride levels have gone down and now the chlorate is uh, the one that's being uh, electrolyzed, which no matter what you do, even with pH control, this graphite ain't gonna take a perchlorate cell. So yeah, that's all for now. So I just made an explanation to see if whether or not graphite can withstand a pH controlled cell without erosion and the test has been successful. However, I will have continuous updates of this experiment for the coming days. So yeah, you guys will see some updates later. Okay, bye.